Why should we live with such hurry and waste of life? Thoreau. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Unless we all agree with Emerson, do not go where the path and leave. Go in the path and the no path and no leave. Path and leave a trail. Leave a trail. <laughs> Wait, but I'm serious. I agree with him. Everyone agrees with Emerson. Not everyone. Well, nearly. And you know you do. Most of us lead lives of chaotic improvisation from day to day, bawling for peace while plunging grimly into fresh disorder. Edward Abbey. Oh. Impressive. <laughs> wow. We had the sky up there all speckled with stars. And we used to lay on our backs and look up at them and discuss about whether they was made or only just happened. That is Huck Finn. Impressive. Yes, but in it romantic, we'd want to just sit on a raft and float down Not the river. Not having to work, living off the land. Not actually coming to any good end. That is not at all what she's talking about. Oh, taking my side in the game now, are we? Your side <laughs> and the right side. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue the adventures of Huckleberry Finn with you. Or Walden. Which is what you were trying to do earlier. Not any more than you were. <laughs> so you agree with Luke's edition of Ed Abbey? Well, yeah, we're all wasting our time, living ten years, ten days, ten minutes in the future, scheming and fighting and never just... Stopping to smell the roses? Come on, I'm trying to make a point here. What? That we should abandon our lives and go and live in the woods? No, but maybe we could actually slow down long enough to live our lives instead of just preparing our today for, for tomorrow. tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> you can't just generalize like that. I, I mean, I've done some amazing things in my time. Mmm, like the high school football team. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding. I don't actually know if you did. I didn't even live here then. <laughs> oh, was it good for you too? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I get what you mean, Tate. You're actually buying into his mm -hmm. hippie boy crap. What's wrong with hippie boy crap? I am not a hippie and I'm getting another glass. Those two. I know. They should just... I know. <laughs> Man, it, it just really pisses me off. What? Them? No, the world. Everyone. No one gets it. I get it. I know you do. We wouldn't give you such a hard time if you weren't just an idealist. An idealist. Well, anyone can talk, but not everyone actually acts on what they say. What are you saying? I don't know. Maybe you should do something. Did you take that? Yeah, years ago. It's really beautiful. Thanks. It was a lucky shot. I don't remember the last time I saw one like it. Hey, what's going on? I was admiring Luke's sunset. Yeah, apparently Luke has never seen one. You need to stop. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> About what? You haven't watched the sunset. I'm sure. Uh, well, of course I have. When? I don't know when. What's the uh, figures? Hey, what's up, Tate? You're right. She's right about what? We're just idealists. Oh, how's that? <laughs> Look at us. We sit around talking all the time, playing our little games, acting all smart. But... But what? Well, we don't actually live. This isn't living. It's the pretense of living. Actually, this is the living room, so I don't know what you're talking about. I happen to think we're a little more ahead of the masses, don't you? No, I don't. We just talk, and we live our lives, and we wish we had done things. Things like what? I don't know. Well, you can't just sit here and accuse us Not of... Not doing whatever. So prove it. Prove what? That you haven't lost touch with the idea of being present. Okay, okay, Henry David. What do we do? Alright, Jess. Here you go. Tomorrow I'm going to drive to the mountains and I'm going to watch the sunset. And I dare you all to come with me. Why? Why not? <laughs> That's not living. That's wasting gas. I have work. Work. You have work. Your job is not you. This is the wine talking. Stop making excuses, Jess. I mean it. Let's do something frivolous. Meaningful. Oh, frivolous and meaningful. Hmm. Then why not stay up all night and watch the sunrise? It's written on the wall. Sunset. You said so yourself. What's the point? I thought you got it. <laughs> You're challenging us. Yeah, because why not? When was the last time you watched the sunset or you were just joyous for no reason? Joyous? Oh, I, how much have you had to drink? <laughs> not much. <laughs> not much, my ass. No, no, no. No, I get it. 
Nothing is really lost except that epiphenomenon known as human delight. Come on, anyone. Tomorrow. Anyone. What time? Early. Oh, come on, guys. How many can you? Oh, Abby, again. That's it, I win. Hey, Leaf. Hey, did you get that contract written up yet? Yeah, it's right here. I'm going to finish the additions before I leave. I've been thinking about last night. Hmm, our little idea does make you feel guilty. A little. <laughs> you think he's really going to go? Fancy meeting you here. I'm here, okay? I don't back out on dares. Well, it'll probably just be the two of us. You okay with that? What do you think? Bonjour, Grand Monsieur. Where does our adventure begin? Don't think I didn't expect you. E you didn't. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> Where's Luke? He's at work, probably, like always. Actually, I'm right here. What? Sad faces? <laughs> no, actually, I'm surprised you're here. It's nowhere near closing time. Well, don't be. I'm rather curious about your little theory. So, shall we? Just wishing it wouldn't stop. Who are you calling Christopher Robin?